Hey guys, Fraser here. Listen to the full episode of Unraveling the Son-in-Law exclusively on Pocket FM app. Click the link in description to install the app now. Mom and Dad will be so excited to see your new limo. What the hell? What's our stuff doing here? No way, this can't be true. Is my family really going to kick us out in the middle of the night? Why are you acting so surprised, sister? We had already given you and your loser husband an ultimatum yesterday. How long will you stay in someone else's house? That someone else is my family, and I have contributed so much to this house. You know we're leaving anyway, so why rush to throw us out? Dad, please. Sweetie, don't be offended, but Pearl's coming to see the room in two days, and we need to match up to her standards or she may reject our son for the wedding. I don't want to disappoint our son. And what about your daughter? These people are ridiculous. I always knew James was their favorite, but how can they be so cruel to their own daughter? But where will we go in the middle of the night? Don't worry, darling. We will find a way out. From now on, I promise our lives will only get better. <laughs> better? On a scale of good to best, your standard of living is disastrous. Come on. Why make false promises to my sister? Natalia, I pity you. Pity yourself. A blindsided man like you will always see the glass half empty. Let's leave, honey. Let me help. No need, Mom. You go and enjoy the TV with Dad. At least let me call you a car. We already have a car. From now on, there's nothing we need from this family. Car? Did I hear that right? Natalia's family was starstruck to see such an expensive car. They couldn't believe that the car they had already seen in pictures was standing right in front of their eyes. <gasps> Natalia, where did this come from? Honey, why don't you take out the title and show it to my mother? Are you saying that you own this car? That's right. I can't believe it! This is my dream car! Pearl wanted me to buy this for her. How the hell did this loser get to drive such a luxurious car? From where I stand, you are the one who dreams of having it while I actually own the car. No way! All these years, you've barely given anything to mom and dad. And now, all of a sudden, where did you get so much money from? Well, maybe from breaking a record. Record? Today, my husband sold a hundred properties within 24 hours. Then, he surprised me with this luxurious dream car. Now, you can go back inside and burn in jealousy. The news of Fraser's success hit Natalia's family like a slap in the face. Come on, honey. It's time to go. Wait! All these years, you've been living in our house, eating our food and taking up space without giving anything in return. You can't be so shamelessly ungrateful to our family. What do you mean? You two need to leave, but the car stays here. No way! That's not fair! Mom, Dad, just for once, can't you stand up for me? Mom, Dad, think carefully. If I have this car, it'll make you look high class too. And if Pearl's family knew about it, they would be mighty impressed with me. Eustace and Dorothy looked at their son thoughtfully. After Natalia married a pauper like Fraser, they were desperate to get James married in a wealthy family to uphold their family status. Come on, Dad! Mom, don't you care about me? It's okay, Natalia. He's your brother. It's only right that you help him out a little bit. This car costs more than he makes in a year. This is no different than stealing. Natalia, just give your brother the car. Your husband made a big commission today. He can make another one. It's time you finally contributed to this family. Over my grave! How dare you! If you don't do as we say, you're no longer a part of this family. Natalia was deeply hurt. She wanted to blast at her parents, but before that... <sighs> no need for that, please. Here, take the keys. From today, the car is yours. Show off in front of your future wife, James. I am not afraid of hard work. Come on, Natalia. We are leaving. When you find a place to stay, let me know. I'll send you a thank you card. Morons! How could they do this to me? And you! 
could you let them do this? I finally thought you were worth something, but again, you proved me wrong. I will always prove our love right. Have faith in me. Frazier knew that saying anything more would only add fuel to his wife's anger. But when he heard her talking to someone on the phone, he turned to her. Oh, okay. Sure. Come on, I have got us a place to stay. Natalia and Frazier arrived at her friend Sheila's house. Look at you, Fraser. I heard you sold a hundred properties, got Peter fired, and then quit your job. What the heck? For a moment, I felt a slight respect for you. But you proved again that you are nothing but a piece of trash. I am letting you humiliate me because I know you care about your friend who happens to be my wife. And that's all that matters to me right now. Seeing Natalia happy. At least we agree on something. <laughs> anyway... I have made the sleeping arrangements. Natalia will sleep with me in my bedroom. You're going to sleep by yourself in the spare room. That's all right. It's a matter of one night. What kind of husband is he? How can he be so okay with not sleeping with his own wife? The next day, James took his new car out for a cruise. He parked the car down the street from Pearl's home. Pearl. I know you've wanted to go car shopping lately, and I have a surprise for you. You're going to be so excited when I show you that you won't be able to sleep tonight. Are you serious? You'd better not be kidding. You know that my parents are already not very fond of you. Get down and see it yourself. My car! James's smile washed away when he saw a huge truck heading straight toward him. He froze for a split second as it became apparent that the truck wouldn't stop. He scrambled out of the way just in time to hear a loud crash behind him. As he watched in horror, the truck turned and then drove forward again, ramming into the car again and again until the brand new car was turned into a twisted pile of scrap metal. You destroyed my car! You're going to pay for this! I'm suing you for your license and all your worth! <laughs> Look around, there are no street cameras here. No witnesses. And if you don't get away from me, I'll crumple you like a tin can too. It's taken care of. Well done. Now James will know what it costs to mess with my wife. The truck was long gone by the time Pearl walked down the street. She saw James sitting on the curb with a smashed car behind him. James, is this supposed to be some sort of prank? Pearl, there was a truck. It came around the corner and smashed the car and then... You expect me to believe that? You're nothing but a liar. After Natalia had finished the exit paperwork from the Philly group, she got a call from Robster Corporation for an interview. On the day of the interview, Frazier insisted on accompanying her to the corporate headquarters. Where do you think you're going? You can't follow me in. Look at you, you're not dressed professionally. And if they see you, it's going to make me look bad. This job means a lot to me. I know that, so I want to be there for you. You're nervous, so I wanted to come along and cheer you up. I was one of Philly Group's top salespeople. Why would I be nervous? Don't follow me. And you might want to look for a job yourself. You can't just sit at home. Frazier already knew what the outcome of the interview would be, so he didn't force the issue and decided to head back home. Natalia entered the interview room. Despite what she had told Frazier, her heart was in her throat. The interview panel consisted of two men and a woman. Natalia could tell from the way the woman held herself that she was the decision maker of the group. Placing her resume on the table, she tried to put up a picture of a confident professional salesperson. You're not the right fit. Next. I am more qualified than 90% of the candidates out there. How could she eliminate me just like that? May I ask why? You don't remember me, do you? I don't understand. Have we met before? Did I do something to offend you? I guess the ghost of your past is here to haunt your future. 
Natalia's hopes of securing the job seem to be fading. What is the relationship between the female interviewer and Natalia? What will James do now to impress Pearl? How will Fraser save his wife's job? Hey guys, Fraser here. Listen to the full episode of Unraveling the Son-in-Law exclusively on Pocket FM app. Click the link in description to install the app now.